In this video, I'm going to show you how we cope with a stubborn jib furler on our passage from Acadia to Boston. When we last left off, we were, well, actually... As you can see, the uh, jib furler isn't working. I had trouble with it all day. Uh, and all, all last night, actually. The uh, halyard wants to wrap at the top of it. You can clearly see the top swivel isn't swiveling, and instead it's trying to wrap the halyard around the top of the foil and forestay. After dropping the sail on the foredeck, we took a closer look at the top swivel. So it spins freely when it's not tightened up, right? Yeah, yeah it's fine now, although it has a little play. So yeah, th now. I think the problem is the play, so. But it doesn't, you know, it shouldn't bind up here, so put some tension on it, and then we'll. Now it now it has a bind right there and it just that's still a little more yeah yep okay good now see that's not I would say I would I would say that's not unreasonable amount of tension for a halyard no that's hardly I mean I would normally say that's not very much tension at all. Yeah, that's so not good. So that's what happens. Yep. And it, it's basically like, and you can see that it's crooked, and it, it also it has a spin, and then there's a spot right here yeah. where it just <laughs> catches. Sorry. Ooh. Yeah, yeah you can't even move it. Yeah, that's not. And I bet you. I bet you that's, you know, that's, that's kind of right where it is, right? So when it's up there? Yeah. Now, once we knew that the top swivel would still function under light tension, we developed a procedure for getting it to furl. First, we'd put some extra tension on the halyard. Next, we'd put some tension on the furling line, pulling on it pretty hard by hand. At this point, easing the tension on the halyard will get the swivel to start spinning and the sail to start furling. Don't completely slack the halyard, though. If the sail slides down the foil, it's going to get tangled up in a different way. Once the furler starts spinning, keep the momentum going and quickly roll up as much of the sail as possible. If the top swivel were to bind up again, we would simply repeat the procedure. Just one more time. All right. I just put a, I just put a bunch on it. All right. Let me break myself here. Okay. Ready? All right. Easy. Here it comes. All right. There it is. That's the last bit. Yeah. That wasn't so bad this time. Well, we actually understand how it works. I have to say, it's really nice to finally know why the trick of using the halyard can actually free a jammed furler. I hope you don't come across any stubborn furlers. But if you ever find yourself contending with one, I hope what you have learned here today helps you succeed. See you out there.